So let's talk about splining the rough areas on a hole. Uh, back into Inkscape here, I just did a save because we made some changes here. So we're, we're kind of baselined here and ready to go. So we look at these two holes um, and, I, and I've played this course and hopefully the course that you're doing, you're somewhat familiar with. I, I do know that there are some, there are some rough areas here, but so like this area, the, these brown areas here, this is rough. And this rough kind of goes down along here, but you can see there's like a dry creek bread bed that runs through here across. Um, and then there's also uh, some, this stuff down here gets pretty thick. So this is, so these trees are really a divider between I would say rough and deep rough. So I would say, hey, I got some rough around here that goes around and it, and it goes up to the cart path. There's a cart path that goes through here through these trees, that's hard to see. But inside the cart path and um, inside these trees is all the rough area. And then down here, um, I definitely have some rough right around, and this is the driving range over here. We're not gonna worry about that for now. Uh, in the driving range, so I got rough here that goes all the way around and in here. And I would say there's gonna be a, a small patch between this fairway over here, which we're not doing yet, we're just doing a couple holes. And here, there's, there's gonna be some deep rough in here, but this is all gonna be rough. So let's, I'll, let me show you how we're gonna draw these out. So the first area rough I'm going to do is going to be over here, and it's gonna be kind of a weird shape. So let me say, I'm on hole one. Let me make sure that I've got my pen tool on, and let me just zoom in here a little bit to get a better idea where I'm at. And I'm gonna to have to make some estimates here on where things go because we got some shadows, but I know it kind of goes in and around. So let me start here and start putting in this new shape. And I'm gonna go in here pretty far where I can't see in the trees. And then I'm gonna go right along this dry creek bed that runs along the front. It's not really a hazard. It's just an area where it kind of dips down and probably not gonna lose a ball in there. Let me just click. And again, I'm being very deliberate here. And I'm gonna, you can see kind of where I'm following this. And I'm gonna come up around the trees here because they kind of protect an area that I would consider is more deep rough. And I'm holding down my middle mouse button so I can kind of move as I do this but I'm being very deliberate and very careful that when I click, I'm not clicking and dragging. Let me finish that. And of course, it remembered that we were doing water the last time. Not a big deal though, let's just go find rough. And now we change that path to rough. And it's on the top here. Not a big deal because there's no shapes hidden by it, but I always like to make sure that my rough is, um, whoops, I need to escape here go to my select tool, select my rough, and I'm just gonna hit end and I'm gonna move it down. Oh, it's a good thing I did that. I forgot that there was water underneath there. So I always like to take my rough and when I'm done with it, hit end and move it to the bottom. That way now our water uh, will cut through that. That would have given us a problem inside of Blender. That water would have been gone. It would not have been cutting through anything. So there's one rough shape. So let's go over here to this other area and do another rough. So let's go into our tool again so we can draw. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna draw my rough right around the borders of these trees over here. And then also up close to this cart path. It's hard to tell exactly where that cart path goes. So I have to make some estimates here some artistic liberties, as DPR says. And I'm gonna make a decision now to trace the rough up this way because I want everything down you know, on the other side of these trees, I want that to be heavy rough. And again, very deliberate down my rough. So I'm gonna go back to my select tool, highlight this, end and I push it to the bottom and now you can see I've got a good idea where my rough is. Um, I'm going to draw another one up here and um, 
Let's see what this is going to look like. I'm going to, let's see, probably going to draw, I can leave this heavy rough on the other side of the water, not a big deal. So I think I'm going to draw some rough right around over here and here. I'm going to save you some time watching me do this. I'm going to pause the video and we'll be right back. So I decided to unpause because there's a good example of how you can use layers to your advantage. So uh, here we've got this water body and I want the rough to come up right next, right to the water. So instead of being tedious here, and let me show you what I mean, let me start my rough drawing here. And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go right through the middle of this water. And then I have to decide where I'm gonna come out the other side here. So I'm gonna shoot out, I, I wanna want it to kind of wrap around here. So I'm gonna come out right about here. And make that my rough. And now what I'm gonna do is go to my selection tool, keep my rough highlighted, hit end. And I just moved it to the bottom, but wait a minute. Oh shoot, I'm on hole one. Dang it, that needed to be on hole two. Not a big deal. I'm just gonna do move to layer, move to layer two, move. Now it's the top of two. I'm gonna highlight it again, hit end. Not a problem, right? No big deal. So I use the water here to my advantage and I just pushed this rough layer underneath the water. So now when I take this into Blender, the water is going to cut my rough and give me that nice clean shape that you see there, okay? So, you know, there's an advantage. Don't try to like keep things close here. Just realize that the water is on the same hole and it's gonna cut through that, so no problem. So let me do another one here. Um, so this is my cart path. So let me just, um, yeah, I'll show you this one as well. And if this bores you, you can always fast forward it. Let me just do a, um, oh, I gotta go down to my pen tool again. And let me just start tracing this where I think this rough area, I do know that the, there's some thick trees here. And then there's some rocky, that stream, that dry rock bed goes down through there. So now what I'm gonna do is, and, Keep in mind, we're only doing the first two holes, and this more normally would probably get extended because this is hole five. So when I do hole five, I'll probably change this shape. But for the purposes of our first two holes, this is what I want. Um, all right, so I got that on the right hole. Oh, what do I have to do? I got to move that down, right? So let me go to my select tool, hit end, move that down to the bottom. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Cool. So that's doing our rough areas.